at the JFK airport. Just waiting for our flight. Do you remember where we're going? We're going to Toronto, to Canada. And um, we're going to visit my sister, who is Sean and Ella's auntie. And yeah, it's very early in the morning, which is why you can see I'm looking very tired. For a free copy of our guide to kid-friendly Toronto, just go to topflightfamily.com slash Toronto. Alright, we just got to our room and this is pretty nice. All right, we are in Toronto. It's 11 a.m. We landed uh, around 9.30 this morning. I took and a very short nap. Yeah, I slept the whole flight. It was awesome. So we checked into our hotel. Luckily, our room was ready early and unpacked. And we are on our way Hello. to get a sort of early lunch, late breakfast. So we were just saying that it doesn't feel like I Canada. Said. Well, Sean said, Tell, tell them what you said. These exact words. I said it doesn't feel like Canada because it was snowing. Yeah, last time we were here it was in December and it was Minus really cold. Minus 22 degrees. Like it was unseasonably cold even for Toronto. So it feels really weird to be walking around in shorts. That, that Those are not my shorts. That's my shirt. Shorts. Thank you. <laughs> Good camera work. Last time we were in the same location, which is right near the big ice skating rink and near the mall. We were freezing our butts off, right, Sean? <laughs> yes. We were we so excited about going. Clothes. We're so excited about going ice skating, and then Sean only you only lasted like one round. Three. Because it was so cold. Three. Okay, three. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I, I, I was the one doing it, so I know know how much. <laughs> No. <laughs> Put that nasty finger down. Three. Put those two down and that's the right number. So that breakfast was just okay. Um, I had a niswa salad which was pretty sad. Unless you like lots and lots of romaine lettuce and like nothing else. Um, but the breakfast was decent. The pancakes and the eggs and stuff were pretty good. My wish came true. Ooh, I threw a wish? coin in the water. I wish for ice cream and I got it. heading to the distillery district where we didn't get a chance to go the last time we were in Toronto. Hi Ella. Uh, it was too cold we just didn't make it out there so yeah this time we're gonna check it out walk around and probably get dinner out there. So we are in the distillery district, which is um, historically where I think um, a lot of the wine, like spirits were distilled here. And now it's become kind of a cool place with like some shops and restaurants. 
and uh, rumor has it that Google is going to be opening some headquarters here, so uh, a lot of condos are being feverishly built right now. My sister is here now. This is Aurora. Hi. You've probably ca caught cl glimpses of her in our last Toronto video. So we're happy to see her. dinner and dessert and we're heading back to the hotel to get some rest. I need some privacy with my meats. I love beef jerky. Any kind of meat I'll eat it. What is your favorite kind here? Spicy. Spicy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you can eat this though. Chinese jerky is good. But this American It's a stuff? stick of jerky. <laughs> are off to the ferry terminal today because we're gonna go to Toronto Island and see what that's like. And I'm wearing a bra. No, you're not. no it's a swimsuit. <laughs> So the line is really long if you're going to wait in line to buy a ticket, so highly recommend that you buy it online on your phone um, because then you can join the shorter line. You know which way we're going? You're gonna show us the way, right? We finished lunch and we are heading to the beach. No, this is a mommy daddy ah! shot only. No girls, no girls. I want to catch a butterfly. So I want to run away from it. Yeah, I have to. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Tell us about this beaver tail. Dessert. I can't see it. What's so, supposedly it's a really good Canadian dessert. It's like fried dough with Nutella and Reese's Pieces. And that's it. Looks good. Supposedly, President Obama had this when he came to Canada. Oh. Shut down! <laughs> Don't look at that! Toronto Islands, right? 
at the beach and we are off to dinner now and we're gonna eat at this Chinese fusion place and supposedly their Peking duck is really good so I'm excited. So we're here at the Ritz Carlton in Toronto and we came by just to say hi to our friend who's the head of PR here because she really took care of us when we were staying here at Christmas and she said that she has a little surprise tour planned for us and the girls so we'll see what that is. Hello Ella. Yeah. So we just came back from the Ritz-Carlton and we had a super private tour of the mechanical room up on the 54th floor, 53rd floor where they had a really, really, really cool views of Toronto Island, the airport, uh, the CN Tower, pretty much everything that's cool in Toronto. Yeah, it was cool, right? Behind the scenes, Sean. Yeah. Sean couldn't believe there's rooms that look like that at the Ritz-Carlton. <laughs> but all buildings look like that behind the scenes. Yeah. You need lots of machines to make air conditioning and heat and hot water, all that stuff. are on our way to St. Lawrence Market and we're gonna probably get some lunch there hopefully if it all works out. just ate at St. Lawrence Market and it was really really nice. Uh, we had lunch there, we tried a few different things. We had the pea meal bacon on a bun sandwich from Carousel Bakery which was awesome. Um, it's basically like back bacon, like fried, really nice on a roll. Um, then we also, Buster's Cove is one of the famous seafood places there and they're known for their fish and chips but we actually didn't get a chance to try that this time. Um, but what we did have was the shrimp po' boy sandwich, which was excellent. Like, I don't know what kind of bread they put it on, but it kind of is a slightly kind of a flatbread looking thing that's grilled and it's so good with the shrimp as well. Um, and then we also had the crab cakes from there, which were not my favorite, but they were okay. Um, and then for dessert, I tried the Portuguese egg tarts from Chirasso, um Saint something or other. Uh, those were really yummy. So we are at the Ontario Science Center right now and it is the big science museum here in Toronto and it's super kid friendly, lots of really cool exhibits. Uh, one of the really nice things is they have this exhibit going on right now that kind of talks about what are the different technology things in movies and which things came true out of science fiction and which didn't. And one of the exhibits is actually the actual car from Back to the Future. So me and Serge as 80s kids, of course, we were geeking out on that.
are meeting uh, my sister for a dinner and it is our last dinner in Toronto and it's going to be an epic one because this place is known for having huge lobster mountain plates. Wow for the camera! <laughs>